I generally come in at the tail end of these, and I'm honored to be asked. Uh, my time is fast slipping by. I've done this now for nearly half a century. And so I'm closer to the finishing line. And it's great to see those who are closer to the starting line who can run this race with patience. So talking to you a little bit about your private life. Uh, I could give you a full talk on that whole subject. But what I want to do is frame it in the context of a biblical character and raise this question for you right from the beginning. What does a person look like? What does a person look like who is walking closely with God? That's the first half of the question. And the second half of the question is, is it possible to be fully contented and fulfilled as an individual walking that closely with God? Follow what I'm saying. Number one, what does a person really look like? Who do you look to? who demonstrates for you what a close walk with Jesus Christ is. And then the question that we may not often think about, is it possible to be totally fulfilled in that kind of a life? Or are you always going to be seduced and tempted into going after stolen waters or other ways of finding fulfillment? The fact of the matter is we all think that stolen waters are sweeter. We all think that there are ways outside of the Christian faith that the Christian faith restricts us from, that if I only went in that direction, I'll be a happier person. The truth of the matter is those who've gone in many of those directions will tell you the answers are not there. It is interesting, I've had three conversations this morning, and then a tail end fourth one from right here in Atlanta. The three I had, the first one was in uh, uh, Jakarta, the second one was in Singapore, and the third one was in Beijing. These were all three extremely wealthy and successful individuals who've reached the pinnacle of success at a very early age in their fields. They could boast to you of a real big bank account and a financial empire. All three of them said the same thing before I hung up. One of them I'd called to just have a time of prayer with him. And he said, Ravi, we are living in some extremely dangerous and risky times. He said, I opened the newspapers today and find out that Facebook has lost, what, about 20 to 25% of its value uh, in the last 24 hours. And those are major stockholders are even calling for the key personnel to either share the power or move aside in a certain way because it's not going in the direction they had intended. Once upon a time at the top of their game, icons and all of them saying it's not looking good and if one of them telling me i feel so stressed out not just because i feel i might lose a lot but the hundreds of people that depend upon me in my work that they will lose a lot in the process as well so what were they all talking about one talking to me about coming and speaking to their leadership, another one talking for the need for prayer and wisdom, and a third one basically advising me on how to think of the future and how to prepare the ministry for the future as well. The answers are very similar. The struggles are very similar. And to those of you in your, in your teens and 20s, I just say to you, you're looking at a world changing at an enormously rapid pace. And overnight, things change dramatically. Yours is a very high-risk world because of the drama and the speed of change. <laughs>